Time to add another Sanderson holiday to the calendar. <laughs> Last week was busy, with a book release for Brandon's foray into a new genre, plus attending Utah's largest annual convention, I ended up hanging around Dragonsteel people a lot more than usual. Which is to say, at all. The most boring book ever release event was actually really fun. Brandon brought a couple baskets of socks to fold, and Kaze was surprisingly diligent during the reading and Q&A portions. My kids were among the polite ones that didn't swarm the stage, and because of that, they didn't get any candy. Time to teach them the value of civil disobedience. That definitely won't come back to bite me. I happened to chat a bit with Brandon's father while in line, Mr. Wynn Sanderson, who is the first to say that his son is not normal. Brandon apparently got in trouble while working that overnight hotel desk job for printing too many pages. So Sanderson Sr. had to ship him his own printer and computer. They grow up so fast. Got a couple pictures with Brandon. I gave him one of my new larger sparkly raffo pins available on my store. And he raffoed my clarification question on Keen Spren. Octavia from Dragonsteel, as well as several people with the publishers, took my picture as the first person to cosplay from this book. When Kazu signed my book, I genuinely thought he was drawing my portrait. <laughs> hey, Macmillan folk, I'd love to see those pictures. I give you permission to put them on the internet. Also, I'm a voice actor and an audiobook narrator. Let's work together. The book itself is delightful. An instant hit with my kids. Brandon's experiment to see if children can recognize and appreciate literary irony is spot on. My only complaint is that this is definitely not a book you can just read to your kids while they try to go to sleep. It will have the opposite effect. Not just because the juxtaposition of boring words and colorful pictures is going to cause more laughter than snores, but because the pictures are just so darn interesting. It's a turn the page, read the sentence, and let the kid analyze the image for three and a half minutes before moving on type of story. Boring in name only. If you haven't gotten a copy yet, it's probably available at your favorite local bookstore, and the Macmillan Kids Instagram account is also running a sweepstakes for a signed copy, plus art print. Links down below. Also, apparently Brandon and Kazu are hidden in the artwork somewhere. See if you can find them. Fanex! I was there with the Grassroot Shakespeare Company. We were on the wait list for some performances, but weren't expecting to be called upon until three days before the con when I got a text at 10.30 at night asking if we could perform. Twice. Gah! So in the midst of all that craziness, I was still able to stop by the Sander Shrine and even snagged a lightning signing. I should have brought my copy of Long Chills and Kesto to the most boring book ever event. By Friday, it was the third one he'd signed. I could have been the first! Then Saturday had his panel, thankfully moved into the grand ballroom. Even so, the line to get in was massive. I didn't actually enter the room until about 15 minutes after it was supposed to start. Thanks for hanging out with me, line friends. I would have taken more pictures, but my phone was dying. There were some incredible costumes. Join my Patreon so I can buy a new phone. <laughs> but let's dig into the announcements. First off, a bunch of art. Tong by Donato Giancola, first revealed in 2020, is finally going to be in a book, as well as the final Final official art for the Herald Batar. Then we get official portraits of both Cultivation with the Night Watcher and Honor holding a gemstone that is, um, unsplintered. Brandon also officially announced the next Leatherbound, Bands of Mourning, and the art in it is going to be gorgeous. That will be released on Light Day! That's right, the midpoint of the weeping has officially been declared October 29th, when the Dragonsteel holiday sale will begin. Brandon doesn't like that Black Friday basically spoils the Thanksgiving holiday weekend, so they're making their own. We've been told to expect significant discounts on existing merch, as well as a bunch of new stuff. Enhance? Enhance? We've got the Chol plushie, which is also part of the now twice over sold out book bundle, shirts with Bridge 4 and the Ascendant Warrior, as well as something here with two L's on it. Comment what you think it could be. Sweaters for Tress and what looks like the Double Eye of the Almighty, the Bands of Mourning leather bound, and mugs for at least the Will Shapers, but probably all of the other Radiant Orders as well. Then we've got the Final Empire map puzzle and Bridge 4 hat, the Colin family pins, what looks like a play mat with stained glass art similar to the Chinese Way of Kings cover, that's definitely Shallan, t-shirts of all the Radiant Orders, Roshar hoodie, and my bet is those are Radiant Order socks. I will speak my truth and reach my potential for the Light Weavers and Else Callers. We've also got an official name for the Dragonsteel Construction Project. Dragonsteel Plaza, still across the street from the park formerly known as Evermore, now Realm Town, which is a really dumb name, and the digital mock-ups look awesome. 
I've included a link below to sign up for email alerts from Dragonsteel, so you can be notified immediately of any developments or announcements. Also, my Discord is down there too, join that. And finally, Brandon read an interlude from the middle-ish of Wind and Truth, from Baxil, who's apparently been going through some stuff. I've got a video of that linked in the description, as well as the transcript, if you want to check it out. Oh, goodness, thank you to my patrons! Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, good to see you, Dalinar's Butt, Moochie, Chris, Mithicarone, Galland Aegis, the son of James, Lexar and Talap, and it's an honor to have the meaning of life, the universe, and everything supporting me. Welcome! 42. If you'd like to join this growing and illustrious list, check out my Patreon. Patreons get an exclusive discount on my merch store, and I just got some really cool stuff in preparation for Dragonsteel Nexus. Go buy and find out! There's also more words in the blurb about the artists than there are in the entire book. <laughs>